Hey everyone, it's Tuesday evening and we're going to make some pizza dough. Um, for those of you that have heard me talking in the past, um, you know that I do uh, or make a cold fermented dough. So it's made three to four days ahead of time. So we're making dough tonight that we are going to use on Friday night. Um, sometimes I do this Wednesday morning as well. Either way it works just fine. Um, so we're going to mix our ingredients here. I'm going to start with one kilogram of all, I just use all purpose flour. I know a lot of, of people that make pizzas use the double, double O or double zero flour and that stuff apparently works great. This is just what I've always used and it works good. Everyone usually has all purpose flour in their kitchen. So we'll go with this. Um, this amount that I'm making usually will make about six to seven um, 250 gram dough balls, which makes about a 12 inch pizza. So I've got a kilogram of flour in there and I've got 32 grams of fine sea salt. You can use regular salt as well. I just prefer to use this. So I'll put that in there. And then I have half of a teaspoon of traditional active dry yeast. Um, it, that doesn't seem like very much yeast for that amount of flour, which is the whole purpose of this um, cold fermenting thing. Um, yeah, it really develops in your fridge, so don't need a lot of yeast. So we're just gonna mix that together. Make sure that salt and yeast is even, evenly distributed. And then we're going to add 700 grams of water slowly. And I use um, a wooden spoon. I just find that the dough sticks a little bit less to it. So I'll add a little bit at a time. Mix this together. What you might be asking yourself is why the cold ferment well if you make dough the day of um, the gluten hasn't had time to um, develop and you will notice a way different texture and smell that will um, just develop and increase over those days that's going to be in your fridge um, it actually this pizza crust will actually bake faster because the bubbles that you're creating are thinner and the dough isn't as dense. So once you've got it like fairly well mixed, just put it onto your counter. Get as much of the dough out as you can. And you'll notice that I didn't put it out on a floured counter. I don't want to make it any less sticky than it is. Um, it's going to be a fairly sticky dough, but you want it to be fairly hydrated. So you'll notice that your hands might stick to this quite a bit. You can run them under some water and then come back to it and it'll be easier and not as, it won't stick it quite as well to your hands, which is good. And then we're just going to knead it for like a minute or two until you feel that it's fairly smooth. You can see that it is, it's quite sticky, like leaves a little bit of dough on my hands each time. That's what you want. Don't go adding a bunch more flour to it right now. Now I'm just going to take my bowl and I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. Put our dough ball in there. 
and then we are going to put the lid on and that's now going to stay on my counter for the next 12 to 24 hours um, and then I'm just going to plop it into the fridge until Friday around noon, one o'clock, and that's when I'll roll, roll individual dough balls. And then I'll leave it on the counter until I'm ready to use it so it will have a little bit more time to rise. Send me any questions if you have any.